Assembling the Uniberry Pro version 2 starts with attaching the female MPT tri-clamp fittings to the pump. I'm using Teflon tape here and I'm wrapping the direction that I'll be tightening the fittings. At least four wraps is okay. I like to add a couple. It doesn't hurt anything to wrap a few more wraps of tape. and I'm finishing it with a pipe wrench. Now I'm attaching the two inch 90 degrees using a clamp and a silicone gasket and the two inch butterfly valve. You wanna tighten these fittings uh, so that you have a leak free seal. And here's the racking port attaching the butterfly valve. And we're attaching the pump to the racking port. And that's the quick disconnect fitting. and I'm turning it a third of a turn to the left. Here I'm inserting the heating element. And above it, you can see there's another port if you're going to attach another heating element inside. In our case, we're capping it off. Now another third turn to the left. And at the bottom there, you can see that's a smaller port. That one doesn't go all the way through. That one actually accesses the water jacket on the fermenter. So I'm putting a butterfly valve on there and here's the solenoid valve assembly. So that will allow the inlet of water to regulate the temperature of the fermenter. Now that can be water or glycol. And here's the temperature probe, and the temperature probe's at the upper part of the cone. You want the temperature probe above the heating element for more accurate temperature measurement. And here's the inlet valve. And this is the recirculating inlet, which comes from the mash tun. and the quick disconnect. And this is the outflow of the jacket. And this would either go back to your sink or to your glycol chiller. And we're installing the mash tun plate now and the dip tube. the butterfly valve on the mash tun. And the quick disconnect. Now comes the discharge tubing, which is two feet and it's already attached to the 90. And here I'm attaching a butterfly valve, but a ball valve is also suitable for this application. 
the ball valve is going to give you a little more accuracy in your discharge flow rate. And the quick disconnect. And I'm turning it a third of a turn there. I'm capping this off. And you can see the other ports capped off as well. And now the two five foot lengths of silicone tubing, which I've already attached them with hose clamps to the quick disconnects. And that completes the assembly of the version two system. The only thing you'll need to do now is attach the element power cord to the controller and plug your controller into the wall.